Controlling events and effects inside of Unreal Engine with MIDI, audio, and macro data is easier than you may think. And today, I'm going to break down how to use and set up both the Max for Live devices and Unreal Engine blueprints as freely found on my GitHub page. To start, head on over to my GitHub page where you'll be able to download both the Unreal Engine blueprints and Max for Live devices for Ableton required to make such a thing function. The link to this will be in the description of the video. To download the files, click on the green button labeled Code. Then click on the option that says Download Zip. When it comes to installing the Max for Live devices on Windows, go to Documents, Ableton, User Library, and Presets. From here, you'll place the MIDI to OSC device in the Max MIDI Effects folder as found in the General MIDI Effects folder. Then, the Envelope to OSC device will be placed in the Max Audio Effects folder as found within the General Audio Effects folder. For Mac, repeat this same process, but instead, go to Music, Ableton, User Library, Presets, and then repeat the process as outlined earlier. With that set up, you should now be able to find the Max for Live devices in Ableton. If you don't have the Ableton Live Suite for the Max for Live devices, you can also use a plugin called OSC PAR, which will allow you to utilize both MIDI and macro data. Now, when it comes to the Unreal Engine side of things, all you have to do is import or migrate the folder called Reactive Visualizer into the content folder of any Unreal project you may be working on. With that folder imported, you should now have access to all the blueprints required to get started with your own Reactive Visualizer. To use the blueprints, start by placing the router into any scene. This is what receives and parses the incoming OSC data is created by the Max for Live device. If you happen to be using a different setup and configuration for your port and IP address, this is where you'll adjust those values. As the stock values are set up for working with one computer handling both the Ableton and Unreal Engine tasks simultaneously. With that in the scene, all that's required from here is importing the OSC template blueprint and then connecting it to the router. This blueprint template is where you'll build all your events and effects as it comes prepared with 14 different kinds of data that can then be used to control and manipulate things within the blueprint. Just be sure that the envelope track address, macro track address, macro number, MIDI track address, and MIDI trigger note values are correctly aligned with the Max for Live devices being used depending on what strings of data you decide to use. From here, it's just a matter of designing whatever effects and events you want with Unreal Engine's blueprint system. If you wish to control the camera and camera switching system, import the camera director blueprint into the scene. Select the router, and under the camera array, choose the cine camera actor that you have in the scene. Now, this camera switching system allows for up to 12 different cameras to be used in one scene, as controlled by the MIDI data in Ableton. It specifically aligns with the 12 note values of C-2 through to C-1. The additional octave above that is what controls the look at targets, and the octave above that adds camera shake if you so desire. This more or less covers the basic functionality of the camera switching system. Be sure to play around with the options available on the blueprint for even more expressive options. If you'd happen to be interested in more thorough breakdowns of my past reactive visualizers and effects I've built using this setup, be sure to check out my playlist of past tutorials and walkthroughs, as I've covered everything from setting up MIDI triggered lights to triggering Niagara effects and more. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve things, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.